Our topic is on nutritional lifestyle, and there's a tab in the right hand corner, right upper hand corner, called vegan slash vegetarian. And hopefully, you gain a lot of, lot of insights from the、um, page itself. But we have another website that we can、uh, hopefully that you can go on to get more information as to how to eat healthy even with this lifestyle.、Um, it is called the myplate.gov. So there are three total tips that we have for you.、Um, first one is to make a plan. So we need to get organized and to save money and eat healthy options. And the second one is shop smart. So for the most bang for your buck to get out of it, and we just simply just write down on our phones or、uh, grab a little sticky note to write it on there which、um, vegetables or fruits that you wanted to get at the shop. So instead of forgetting, sometimes,、um, and also prepare healthy meals. I understand that a lot of people that are busy these days, and we don't have a lot of time to prepare for healthy meals. But this could help out on the long run if you just write down what meals are you gonna eat for the rest of the week or just a couple of days ahead. A planning could help a lot. Nutrition is extremely important whenever it comes to a student's academic performance. It's time that we all educate ourselves, students, and their families on the importance of nutrition when it comes to academic performance. Rising obesity rates, food insecurity, and the recognition that nutrition plays a key role when it comes to academic performance is all raising awareness. Awareness that students of all ages need to be cognizant of their diet and make sure that they are educating themselves on proper nutrition when it comes to academic performance. Physical activity and a good diet can have amazing effects on our bodies. It can help reduce your chances of developing certain cancers, becoming obese, and can help you live a healthier lifestyle. Physical activity doesn't even have to be exercise. It can be any fun activity as long as you're keeping your heart rate up and staying active throughout the week. For more information, visit the physical activity tab. Our lives are full of stressors, but did you know your nutrition can play a part in your stress or lack thereof? According to Amar Albish and Kateb, proteins such as soy and chicken can improve mood, cognitive abilities, control appetite satiety, and enhance diet quality. The same researchers conclude fruits and vegetables contain flavonoids, which can improve cognitive process, mood, and lessen depression feelings. And don't forget to hydrate with water. Low fluid intake can be attributed to fatigue and decreased activity. Men should consume about three liters of water a day, and women a little more than two. You might not feel like you have time to make healthy meals, might skip meals, or choose quick processed options. But now that you know the science, I hope you take the time to feed yourself and your brain the nutrients you deserve. Hey everybody, and welcome to our team website where our focus was on nutrition.、Um, mine specifically was focusing on nutrition and physical activity. On that tab, you will actually find out some general information about physical activity and some cool tips、um, about what kind of physical activity you can do or what counts. But at the end of the day, the most important thing is to get out there and move, whether that means just walking a mile, maybe you want to run or hit the gym. Just make sure we go out there and、um, get our bodies moving.